previously on the Make Me Lab. Today I'll show you how to build a Raspberry Pi powered smart kitchen terminal to show live videos, news, weather forecasts, do web searches, and more. Stay tuned at the end for a sneak peek of the next video where we will add full voice recognition and control with the Amazon Alexa artificial intelligence system. Remind me to get eggs tomorrow. The Amazon Alexa voice recognition system can answer questions, control IoT devices, play music, and so much more. Normally you would buy a device to provide the interface, but today we will add it to our Raspberry Pi Smart Kitchen completely free of charge. Alexa, what is 452 plus 251? The sum of 452 and 251 is 703. Add to my calendar tomorrow, 2 p.m., dentist appointment. That's dentist on Monday, November 28th at 2 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. We'll put the entire instructions and links in the description below how to do this process. You'll go to the GitHub site and you're going to follow their instructions. I'm not going to duplicate them here because they may go out of date. It's very, very easy and the extensive documentation makes it simple. You register for an Amazon developer account. You're going to clone the sample app to your Raspberry Pi desktop using their instructions. Update your install script with your credentials for your Amazon account and you're going to run the install scripts. That's pretty much it. These are changing from time to time as the service changes and the voice activation gets better. You're going to need three different terminals or commands to run this and I've chosen to do those as shell scripts I'll show you in a moment. After startup it's going to flag you that maybe the connection isn't secure. You're going to go ahead and proceed as per the instructions and fire everything up. Once you get everything fired up you can go ahead and talk to Alexa. The commands should be very responsive. You shouldn't have any problems. Uh, it seems to be immune to accents or voice inflection. It works great. As in the previous video, I'm going to use a VNC connection into the Pi to go ahead and set up our scripts. These three scripts I'll have in the description below as well. These allow you to just with a double click fire up the individual commands to start up the Alexa service. As well, I've included a script that I use to fire up the Kitchen Pie GUI, which is a web browser window. It's really, really simple. It just fires up in a full screen window and simplifies things for you. That is it for our Raspberry Pi Smart Kitchen. We now have full Alexa control and feedback. Pretty cool. Give it a try. Try different things. Ask her just about anything. It's uh, pretty impressive what she can do. I'm Eric from the Make Me Laugh. I will see you next week. Set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds, starting now. How many calories in a baked potato? There are varieties of baked potato. For instance, baked potato flesh and skin without salt has 93 calories per 100 grams, 26 calories per ounce.